What's going on you guys? Today I want to show you where you can exchange your currency like Orans and Florins into crowns. Now Orans and Florins you can find in any lootable object, chest, some dead bodies laying around. Now they really don't mean anything except for exchanging them into crowns and God knows in Witcher 3 you're going to want as many crowns as possible, right? I also want to show you guys how to respec your ability points if you decide you would like to change your build style. You know, you could be a level 13 or a level 30. It doesn't matter what, you know, if you're experimenting or if you're new to the game and decide, hey, what you chose at first isn't what you really wanted. This should help you guys out with that. But I do want to show you guys how to get a great pair of saddlebags for Roach, which can honestly be the best to get early. And it's going to increase your inventory weight by 70. I mean, that's huge. I mean, I know a lot of saddlebags I found going all through Velen, through chests, different quest lines, only go up to about 30, maybe 40. You know what I'm saying? So this one is a huge step up and it's really good. And it's not that hard to get. You can get a pretty early game as well. But if you're new to the channel and would like to show some support, consider subscribing, you guys. If you enjoy the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. By the way, I want to do some lore videos. Uh, there is so much of this world that both the show and the game leave out from the books. Um, the game definitely does a better job than the show, but let me know if you guys would like to see some lore videos in the future. Put it down in the comments so I can hear you guys. I might do them anyway because there's so much in the books that I wish they really added to the show. I mean, I know it's a show and they cut a lot out, but it feels like they did cut a lot. But anyway, let's just jump right into this guide, you guys. Alright, so if you want to know if you have Orans or Florins in your inventory, what you're going to want to do is open up your inventory, scroll over to Other, you can see if you have Orans and or Florins that you can exchange in Novigrad from the Dwarves at Vivaldi Bank. Now, here at Hierarch Square, which is where Vivaldi Bank is located, you're going to want to run over and talk with this Dwarf. Now, you're, this is where you're going to be able to convert your currency, your Orans and Florins, into crowns. You can also take out a loan. I don't know why you would ever want to, but you can. There's really never any need to, but you never know, right? Um, they will charge you interest on that loan, just to give you guys a heads up. So if you take 100 crowns out, you're going to pay like 130 crowns back later. So just a heads up. Anyway, you guys could see out of all the Orans and Florins I turned in, I got like 1,300 and some odd crowns, 330 crowns. So it's really worth it. After looting chests and dead bodies, you're going to come across this stuff and you may not even know about it. So keep a lookout for it and come here to Vivaldi Bank and you will be able to exchange it for crowns. Now I got now I want to show you guys how to respec your character and your ability points. Now, well, we're gonna start off from High Arc Square since we're here. You will want to travel north of the city. I sped up the video just to show you the way and hopefully it makes it easier for you guys. But once you pretty much come here into this building, you're gonna see um talk with this merchant inside. He will be selling a potion of clearance which returns all ability points spent to develop abilities to available pool so you can redistribute them now note this will cost you a thousand crowns and each time you want to respect you'll have to buy the potion but he also has other goodies in this inventory like a book a miraculous guide to gwen that uses magic to show the number of cards missing from your collection, which will be nice to help hunt down all the Gwent playing cards, right? I'm not gonna lie. But the main thing I always buy is this rugged saddlebags that he sells for 452 crowns. Now, these saddlebags increase the inventory weight by 70. To me, this is a must, especially since we are always looting everything in sight. You can get this pretty early on, but have to make your way to Novigrad. I found so many other saddlebags and none have 70 inventory weight to get early. Most are anywhere from 25 to 50. Um, plus you don't have to search chests, you know, every chest everywhere or face really high level enemies to try and get it. But this is what the bags look like on Roach, which I love because the character of them, you can see a book, a sword tucked into a blanket on the back and a water skin on the other side makes it feel more real, I guess. So. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have much more on the way, a lot of updated guides to come. And like I said earlier, let me know down in the comments if you guys would love 
you know, to see some more uh, Witcher lore videos or just see Witcher lore videos in general because I haven't posted any yet. But you guys can follow me on Twitter at Hambone Gaming. And that is all I got for you guys on this one. So I will catch you all in the next one. Later.